the outlook's still good. Um, we're actually looking at the second half likely being stronger than the first half. So um, it allowed us to revise our guidance upwards for the whole year. Um, our earlier guidance was for net income to increase by around 10%. We're now looking at uh, net income for the full year being up by mid to high teens. So anywhere from 15 to 19%. What is your net income forecast for the whole of 2016 and what are the drivers of profit growth? We're looking at anywhere from maybe 2.5, 2.6 billion peso. Um, that's what we're looking at for the whole year. It's really the strong Philippine economy. That is what's driving a lot of our businesses. Um, all our categories are experiencing very good growth. Um, and uh, it's really consumer driven uh, more than anything. Can we ask for an update on the expansion of your partnership agreement with Ventura? We're at the final stages of auditing and testing and it looks like uh, by the end of the year we will be able to have some large orders uh, come in. Um, it really took some time for these large customers to do their testing and their auditing to make sure that our products uh, would be fully uh, acceptable to them. Um, and uh, so by the end of the year, we think we will already have some large orders. And it means that by next year, uh, we should have, it will be the first full year where we will already have Ventura um, being positively accretive to our food business. How might that contribute to the profitability of the company as a whole? It's still early stages, but we think the margins of uh, the products we, we sell with Ventura will be in line with the margins of the other products uh, that we are, are already selling. Um, uh, in terms of the contribution to the whole business, it is possible that just Ventura alone could be around 5% of the overall food business. Um, so it, in that sense, it is fairly significant considering it is a new business for us. The Philippine Stock Exchange wants to offer dollar-denominated securities. Is that something DNL is keen on looking into? We have not uh, really considered it for now. Um, we think that there needs to be a balance between the source and use of the funds. So um, currently our exports are at 18% of our revenues, so still fairly low. Um, maybe when it gets to a, a higher point, then maybe that's a time when we uh, would seriously consider dollar-denominated debt, for example. Uh, but for now, um, it's not something that we're looking at.